Several years ago, I wrote an article for the Advocate, the paper I write for, about my old white dog that I had when I was a kid. And it received so much uh, reaction that I decided to maybe put a song with, with it and uh, make it in the form of a record. And we retitled the, the piece, Once Again, The Old Woman Cried. And once again, the old cry and long for the little boy with the dog at his side. The old man turned his face to the world so the world couldn't see. White dog lay there on the porch. He was thinking of the day that he came riding home in the basket of the little boy's bicycle. As the two of them walked towards the house, the old woman appeared on the back porch. She took the snow white pup from the youngster and scratched behind his ears. She said something like that. You little fella, ain't he? And the dog like that. This was going to be a good family for him to have. About that time, the old man would come from the shed, and the ear scratching routine was repeated. Now, growing up with little boy was fun for the dog. In the summers, they'd go out and to Uncle Farm and spend the afternoons and the mornings and the evenings all of it chasing cows, hunting blackberries, picking mushrooms. In the wintertime, though, it wasn't quite so much fun because little boy had to go to school. But the old woman compensated by giving him scraps of the table and let him lay behind the, the cook stove in the kitchen. But in the summer that the young boy turned 17, old dog noticed the change. And now called him young man. And one morning, the old young man came down from his upstairs bedroom and said, Usually long time scratching over all the ears and chatting him and talking to him. After breakfast, the young man and the old man got in the old Ford car and just drove away. They were gone for a long time, but eventually the car crunched back into the gravel driveway and the old man was alone. Days became weeks, the weeks became months, and the months became years. Finally, late one night, a familiar footstep at the front porch. An old dog nearly tore that door down before they get it open. And there stood a young man in a funny blue suit with a white hat. And once again, the old woman cried. Things were right. The world was normal again. The young man was home and an old dog was happy. But one day, the young woman appeared on the scene. The young man called the old dog over to him and said, Old oh boy, I'm getting married. Do you want to go live with me in my new home? As if they answered, he went to the foot of old woman's chair and sat down. Now the years have passed, and old dog's eyes and ears were dim. He was laying there on the front porch thinking about all this, and the memory of a, a rabbit in that bean patch across the field, across the road, stirred him, and he got up and went across to see if he could scare him. An old woman was standing in the kitchen frying some taters. She heard the squeal of brakes and the thump, and she looked up just in time to see a white farm go hurtling down the road toward the car. The man got out of his car and picked up the steel farm and brought her to the house. Had tears in his eyes. He said, I'm sorry, ma'am. He just didn't seem to hear me or see me. Once again, the old woman cried. An old man come around the corner of the house with a sickle in his hand and looked at what was going on. Turned headed to the shed mumbling something about a shovel. And once again, Yo.